Power Tracker is so easy to use and the information is so important, you'll want to track every round you play. Let's play a few holes and see how easy it is to power track. Even before the round begins, it is recommended that you record every hole's par. With Power Tracker, you do not record every shot played. You only record one drive, one approach, one short game, and one putt per hole. Let's first look at how to power track your drives. To evaluate the performance of your drives, you need data on the distance and accuracy of your tee shots. For distance, you need to record the distance to the hole before and after the tee shot. For this first hole, the scorecard says the distance to the hole is 395 yards, but today's tee marker is 5 yards up, so record 390 in the B box. After you hit your tee shot, you find your ball in the fairway, you follow your normal routine and determine the remaining distance to the hole is 145 yards. You select a club and hit your shot to the green. After the approach shot, you record 145 in the A box. For driving accuracy, you mark F when in the fairway or L or R when you miss left or right. Since this tee shot is in the fairway, you mark F. Now you don't want to slow up play, so always do your power tracking while others in your group are hitting their shots. Now let's power track our approach shots to the green. One of the most common statistics in golf is greens in regulation, and when you power track you will know your GIR percentage. But this statistic is not a true measurement of a player's approach shot skill. If you had a poor tee shot in the rough and missed the green with your next shot, you would never know if you missed the green because of a bad lie or because of a poor swing. Power Tracker doesn't track approach shots hit from poor lies, but only from the fairway or tee shots on par threes. Leave this section blank when hitting from the rough. Power Tracker is the only system that provides percent greens hit from the fairway, which is a much better statistic to identify the strengths and weaknesses of your approach swing fundamentals. In order for your statistical report to compare your approach performance from different distances, you first record one of three distance zones you are hitting from, 50 to 125 yards, 125 to 175 yards, or 175 to 225 yards. You do not track shots hit from more than 225 yards from the hole. Since our approach shot on this first hole was 145 yards away, we marked the center box. Next, you will record the result of the shot by marking one of three boxes, on the green less than five yards from the hole, on the green more than five yards from the hole, or your approach shot missed the green. With Power Tracker, everything is in yards, so remember, less than five or more than five means yards, not feet. After hitting our approach shot, we get up to the green and find our ball just short of the green, so we mark the MG box for missed green. Now we will track our short game shot, which is any shot less than 50 yards from the hole. First we mark the type of shot we are playing. If the ball is on the ground and you are hitting a chip or a pitch shot, mark G for ground. When hitting from a green side bunker, mark the B box for bunker. Since we are off the green hitting a chip shot, we are going to mark the G box. Next we record the result of the chip shot and record one of three results on the green less than three yards from the hole, on the green more than three yards, or miss the green. We hit our chip shot about eight yards from the hole, so we mark the three plus box. When power tracking, don't take the time to step off distances to get an exact measurement. Estimates are okay. It's important to stay up with the pace of play and not take extra time from your normal routine. Also, it is recommended to record your short game shots after you finish the hole. Now let's power track our putting. When power tracking, you will record total putts so you'll know your average putts per round and your three putt frequency. The biggest impact putting has on your score is three putting. One of the main causes of three putts is poor speed control on your long putts. In order to evaluate speed control, you will track your performance on all putts longer than six yards. Anytime you have a putt further than six yards, you'll record its result by marking one of three boxes. Mark the end box if you make it. 
Mark the less than one box if your ball misses but stops less than one yard from the hole. Mark the greater than one box if your ball misses and stops further than one yard from the hole. And remember, less than one or more than one is one yard, not feet. For putts less than six yards from the hole, leave this section blank. But to be clear, always record total putts per hole for all putts, regardless of the distance of your first putt. Since our chip shot was hit about eight yards from the hole, we will record our first putt performance. We miss our first putt and it ends up further than one yard, so we mark the greater than one box. We also miss the next putt and record three for total putts. Remember, always power track your shots while others are playing or after the hole is complete. Last thing you record is your final score, which is six. Now let's play hole number two. Hole two is a 410 yard par four, and today's tee is two yards back, so we record 412 under B. We hit our tee shot off to the right and into the rough, 175 yards from the hole. Our lie is not very good and there is water in front of the green, so we decide to lay up and head out into the fairway. We do not track this shot since it was played from the rough. After playing our second shot back into the fairway, we are 113 yards from the hole. Since we can record one approach from the fairway per hole, we will track this shot as our one approach shot. We first mark the distance zone we are hitting from. Our third shot lands on the green approximately 10 yards from the hole, so we mark the greater than 5 box. Now we record our putt. Our first putt is more than 6 yards, and you miss the putt, but it stops less than 1 yard. You make the second putt and record 2 for number of putts, and a final score of 5. Now let's track one more hole. Hole 3 is a 165 yard par 3. On par threes, you skip the drive section. Tee shots on par threes are recorded in the approach section. You hit the 165 yard tee shot into the bunker and mark the distance zone you are hitting from and mark MG for missed green. Your first bunker shot doesn't get out and you record as a missed green. You hit your second bunker shot on the green about two yards away. But remember, when power tracking, you only record one short game shot per hole. So you will record the first bunker shot, but not the second. Your first putt is less than six yards from the hole, so you will not record its result in the performance section. But you do still record the total number of putts for the hole. You make the putt for a final score of four. That concludes the overview of how to use power tracker. It is recommended to also watch the video Frequently Asked Questions.